My name is Serge. I work in computer security. I am 53 years old and I live in Luxembourg. I had uh, an accident when I was 12 years old. I was on a bicycle and I was hit by a car. I started noticing things. I was a kid. I had to change school, for instance, back then, because the, the school I was when I had my accident was not fully accessible with a wheelchair. I spent about uh, a year and a half in a hospital. Uh, recovering from the, the accident and learning how to be a autonomous and independent in a wheelchair. The routine is, is, is uh, uh, pretty much the same as with many people. I get up in the morning, I, uh, I wash, I shave, I get dressed. Uh, now, for the past 10 years since I have aches in the shoulders. There are lots of things I cannot do by myself anymore. Uh, previously, I take my shower and, and wash myself. And now I need help because uh, I have uh, shoulder pain and I have uh, a hernia. In Luxembourg, I'm lucky because uh, we have uh, a lot of help. Quite often, I don't need help because I've learned to be independent and autonomous. The city of Luxembourg has bus service just for people in wheelchair. We give a phone call, we say uh, usually about a week in advance, the bus comes, picks me up, I go do my shopping and then it brings me back. That's for the city of Luxembourg with just, uh, just for wheelchairs. And then the Ministry of Transportation has organized two different uh, services. One is for people who are disabled and need to go to work and that is for any disability they come and pick you up at your home and they bring you to your workplace in the morning and then they bring you back in the evening they have also a service which is more limited it's also for all kind of disability but you can only use it 15 times a month if you want to go to a concert for recreation if you want to join your family, uh, you just organize that usually at least five or six days in advance. Um, otherwise, I can also take uh, normal uh, public transportation. I've been in a wheelchair now for 40 years, and whenever I look at the situation now and I compare it with the situation 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, it's always improving. Uh, so, for instance, the buses, uh, 20 years ago I couldn't, I couldn't take, uh, I only had access to special bus services. Uh, the normal city buses, normal line bu lines were not accessible. And uh, now almost all the lines are accessible. The city of Luxembourg has invested a lot of money into, in buying new buses and making sure that they're accessible. One thing which is complicated when you're in a wheelchair is there's a half of the city which is very steep, it's, it's very hilly. So when you go down, downhill, it's quite easy. When you go uphill, it's quite a, a, lot, a lot of effort. I love my country, I love Luxembourg. And in many ways, Luxembourg is a little paradise. They look at things in a positive way and they want to progress. They want to change things. I've encountered all the range of human reactions, from people who react with disgust, as if I was a uh, a disturbing people and something they don't want to see. They don't know how to react, so they're embarrassed and they prefer not to look at me. Uh, people who are curious. The best kind of curiosity is what I see in children. They often, they, they come to me and they look at me and they're very naive. They just come and say, why are you in a wheelchair? There is no bad feeling behind that. 
I've also put some special plates on my wheelchair uh, with uh, funny figures, so uh, the children are attracted to that. I remember two or three incidents. I was in a shopping center and as I was exiting the elevator, uh, I saw uh, a child, uh, or rather a child saw me, and she asked the usual question, Mommy, Mommy, why is this person in a wheelchair? She said, it's because this is a bad person and God has punished him. That's probably the worst, one of the worst reactions I've ever, ever seen. And to this day, I regret the reaction, the courage, the gut to go to that person and to ask the mother to think about the example she was setting for her children. I would have to ask her, I was 12 when I had my accident, what crime could I have committed at the age of 12 that deserves such a punishment? I go out every day uh, because I'm a very active person. As I said, I go to the restaurant, to the cinema, to concerts. I see people and I am seen. Uh, they don't, I don't ask their permission to go to a place, I just do it. A lot of solutions come from within yourself and from your own state of mind. I've met disabled people who were complaining that it was difficult. I never looked at problems, I always looked at solutions. It's part of life.